Okay, so what we're going to work on today is adding and subtracting polynomials. So just take a quick look at the try this, give me a pause, and give the three problems a shot, and then put me back on. All right, so when you add and subtract polynomials, what you do is you really are just combining like terms. So like terms, like terms have to have the same variable with the same exponent. So take a look at number one, it's 8x plus 3x. So those are like terms because they have the same variable and the same exponent. They're both x to the first power. So all you do is add or subtract the coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers in front. So 8x plus 3x is 11x. You don't do anything to the exponents. Because remember, you don't add the exponents unless we multiply. Remember the laws of exponents. All right, so we over here we have 4x minus 10x. Same variable, same exponent. So 4 minus 10 is negative 6x. All right, and the same thing over here on number 3. We're only looking to combine the like terms. That's 3x and negative 9x. So negative 3x minus 9x is negative 6x. And positive 8y minus 4y is positive 4y. Okay, so when you add polynomials, adding polynomials, all you do is combine. like terms. Okay, so now notice I, I did throw in some fractions here because you guys have to be able to work with fractions. If you have your calculator, then you could use your calculator. Just remember when you plug in a fraction, put parentheses around the fraction when you're adding and subtracting, multiply, dividing. All right, so we're combining like terms. So I have 2 thirds x squared. I'm looking for another x squared over here. So I have another x squared over here, so that's 3 fourths x squared. So 2 thirds plus 3 fourths is 17 twelfths. So it's 17 twelfths x squared. If you don't have a calculator, then you're going to have to add the fractions by hand. Remember, in order to add fractions, I'll do one over here quickly. Uh, in order to add fractions, you have to have the same denominator. So I'll do one quick if you don't have a calculator. So the common denominator between 3 and 4 would be 12. So I would multiply the top and bottom of this one, this fraction here, by 4. So that would be 8 twelfths plus, multiply the top and bottom here by 3, that would be 9 twelfths. And then you add the numerators to keep the denominator, so it would be 17 twelfths. Okay, so back over, and then I am combining 3 halves x plus 5 thirds x which is 19 six x and then negative, that's a negative in there, 8 fifths and a negative 7 halves, that's negative 51 tenths. Okay, so when you subtract polynomials, uh, what you have to make sure you do, super important, a lot of people forget this, is to distribute the negative one. So let's write that down. And then you combine like terms. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll this down a little bit. Okay, so this is what I mean when I say distribute the negative 1. So you have these parentheses, and there's really a number in front of the parentheses. There's really a 1 in front of here, and there's really a 1 in front of here, which really is a negative 1 because it's minus. And what happens is when you distribute, when you distribute the 1, you just get the same thing. So that stays the same, x to the third plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 1, and now I'm going to distribute the negative 1. So negative 1 times 4x to the third is negative 4x to the third. Negative 1 times negative 8x squared is positive 8x squared. 
negative 1 times negative 6x is positive 6x, and negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9, and now we're going to combine like terms. All right, so I have x to the third, that's really a 1 in front, right? If there's no number written, it's really 1. So that's 1x to the third minus 4x to the third is negative 3x to the third. Positive 5x squared, positive 8x squared is 13x squared. And then we have negative 4x plus 6x is positive 2x. And then we have positive 1 and positive 9 is positive 10. Okay, let's look at the last one. I'm just going to pull it up. Okay, so I have here it says subtract, and then I have this polynomial. Notice the polynomial is not in parentheses. We're going to put it in parentheses from this polynomial. All right, now since it's a from and a subtract from, the from always comes first. So I'm going to put this first in parentheses. So it's parentheses, negative 21x squared plus 1.8x plus 1 sixth minus, and then the subtract comes after. 10x squared plus 3.2x minus 2 thirds. All right, and the same thing as before. There's really a 1 here. There's really a negative 1 here. So we end up distributing, and then the first parentheses stays the same. That's where same change change comes from, or same change opposite, which you probably learned in the middle school. We distribute the 1. It stays the same. We get negative 21x squared plus 1.8x plus 1 sixth minus, distribute the negative 1. Every, when you distribute the negative 1, everything's going to change to its opposite. So positive 10x squared becomes negative 10x squared. Positive 3.2x becomes negative 3.2x. And uh, negative 2 thirds becomes positive 2 thirds. All right, now we'll combine like terms. So negative 21x squared minus 10x squared is, so signs are the same, right? Negative 21, negative 10. That's negative 31x squared. I don't know why that's not writing. Come on. Okay, and then we have positive 1.8x minus 3.2x. So use your calculator. If you don't have a calculator, you're going to have to do it on the side. And we get negative 1.4x. And then we have 1 sixth plus 2 thirds, get the same denominator, and we get positive 5 sixths. Okay, so that's it for answer tracking polynomials, so we'll work on it in class tomorrow. Have a good night.